Hello competitors and subscriber here is another gift for you complete conceptual and factual summary of FSE biology chapter 1 no need to burn time in reading text whole day just follow us and stay prepared for PPSC lecturer or subject specialist zoology and biology in this lecture you shall learn only MCQs based facts and concepts about these 10 topics in no time now question arises why FSE book for preparation? It is because more than 50% questions in the written test are asked from FSE biology books of part 1 and 2. You believe or not, it's a solid truth. Similarly, during interview, most of questions are discussed from FSC or BSc levels because you have to teach these levels after getting the job. Now, let's start the discussion. Biology is a scientific study of living things. Which thing is living? That's a critical question and is asked already in the past papers. Biologists define life as set of characteristics which distinguish living from non-living. And what are these characteristics? Number one, that thing should be highly organized. That should be complex entity that should compose of one or more cells that should contain genetic program or DNA that acquire and can use energy. Similarly, uh, the thing should carry out chemical reactions. It can grow inside and maintain internal environment. It can reproduce or produce offsprings or finally can respond to environment. These 10 characteristics are the basic characteristics which distinguish living things from non-living things. What you have to do is you have to remember all these 10 because in MCQs these are given in the options. Branches of biology very brief overview. Molecular biology is a study of molecules in organelles, cells or organisms. Molecules include both organic, inorganic or biomolecules. Environmental biology is the study of interaction between organism and environment. Now one thing here, what is the difference between environmental biology and ecology? Ecology is a subdivision of environmental biology. Environmental biology is a broader term. Microbiology is study of microorganisms like virus, bacteria, protozoa, etc. Freshwater biology is the organisms living in uh, freshwater like rivers, lakes, ponds and uh, other freshwater bodies. Marine biology is a study of life in seas and oceans. Parasitology is study of parasite. Now, what is difference between microbiology and parasitology? In parasitology, the parasites are discussed with respect to their mode of transmission and pathogenicity. But in microbiology, those parasites or organisms are discussed in their anatomies, in their physiology, in their morphologies, etc. Human biology is the study of humans, social biology is study of social behavior and community or communal life and finally biotechnology is the study of use of organisms for the welfare of humans to in the industries or as well as uh, prepare some industrial products. Levels of organization. We shall go through very shortly. Facts to remember. Among 92 natural elements, 16 are bioelements which make bodies of organisms. About 6 elements in human body form 99% of total body mass. These all are facts which are already asked in the past papers. Now, among these 6 elements, oxygen constitutes 65%, carbon 18%, hydrogen 10%, nitrogen 3%, calcium 2% and phosphorus 1%. Please remember these facts. These are very important with respect to exam. Copper, manganese, zinc and iodine are trace elements. This MCQ is, has already been asked in the exam. Subatomic level, atomic level, molecular level, organelle level, cellular level, tissue level, organ level, organ system level, then organism level and then population level, community as well as biosphere. So you have to remember these levels in this sequence because MCQs are asked that which sequence of molecular levels or level of organization is correct. Now facts to remember about levels of organization. Micromolecules are those which have low molecular weight like carbon dioxide and water. These examples are important and macro are those which have high molecular weight like starch and proteins. ATP, ADP and MP are nucleotides. Please remember this fact. Organelles show division of labor within the cell. Gastric juice is secreted from epithelium of stomach. Organ level of organization is much less definite in plants. 
coordination in plants is achieved by hormones not neurons or etc number of living organisms of same species located in the same place at same time these three parameters are required to define a population same species same place same time similarly the attributes of population mean the factors or parameters which are discussed in uh, population level are gene frequency gene flow a distribution population density population pressure this question has already been asked in the past papers of ppsc different species of plants and animals living in the same habitat form community quite simple communities are dynamic collection of organism that's a very famous mcq organism interaction involve predation parasitism commensalism mutualism and competition these are the examples of interaction of organisms with other organisms or with the community now very important mcq here <clears throat> a biome is a large regional community primarily determined by climate another important thing about biome is to note that major type of plants determine other kinds of plants and animals in a biome it mean that first these major plants will grow there and then these plants will help other plants to grow similarly other animals to come and live there living world in time now that's very important to understand age of fossils is calculated in two ways number one uh, layer of sediments of the earth and amount of radioactive isotopes present in that particular layer of the earth or depth of the earth deepest fossils are oldest one in this diagram the deepest fossils belongs to proterozoic era now if you focus on the diagram you can see four different partitions the deepest one is proterozoic era and from that to upper side paleozoic era then mesozoic and then cenozoic you can uh, ask that what is the modern era of the geological time scale so that is cenozoic era now these eras are further divided into different periods like paleozoic era you can see it is divided further into periods of uh, permian carboniferous devonian silurian ordovician and cambrian so these are the periods what you have to remember is the basic facts please note at the bottom of the diagram first living organism were originated about 3000 million years ago that's a mcq similarly proterozoic era ends paleozoic era ends mesozoic era ends cenozoic era ends similarly in the diagram you can see that uh, there are some large bubbles and they condense or become smaller large bubbles show that huge diversity of these organisms were present and then due to extinction their diversity or variety reduced similarly you can see that in proterozoic era common vertebrate ancestors fungi and algae ancestors as well as the ancestor of all living things is predicted to be present in that proterozoic era and this dotted line show that we do not have fossil record about a common ancestry now you have to remember these facts there are four eras in geological time scale proterozoic era 2000 paleozoic from 600 to 270 mesozoic 225 to 135 and cenozoic 70 million to date phylogenetic lineage or phyletic lineage lineage mean a series of steps an unbroken series of species arranged in uh, ancestor to descendant mean from parents to offspring with each later species having evolved from one that immediately preceded it is called phyletic lineage this lineage is incomplete because of soft bodied organisms which were not preserved in fossils and now paleontologists are unable to find those missing links between these organisms that's why phyletic lineage is incomplete now facts to remember 
2.5 million species have been identified so far 53.1% are insects 17.6% are vascular plants 19.9% are animals other than insects and 9.4 are fungi algae protozoa and prokaryotes these facts are quite important to remember one thing more estimated species to be discovered yet may range from 5 to 30 million which are to be discovered biological method facts to remember biological method begins with observation through five senses tentative or changeable explanation of observations is called hypothesis two ways to formulate hypothesis deductive and inductive reasoning what is deductive reasoning which moves from general to specific we can say that all plants have green leaves so the plant inside the lab should also have green leaves that is from general to specific similarly inductive reasoning move from specific to general a snake bites a person and person dies that is a specific observation and then we generalize that if any snake bites to any human he will die that's a general so in this way deductive and inductive reasoning is used to formulate hypothesis hypothesis is subjected to rigorous testing that's very important mcq accepted hypothesis from theory is quite simple good theories are predictive and explanatory these two uh, properties or characteristics of good theories is important to remember a productive theory is that which suggests new and different hypothesis new and different hypothesis these uh, facts are quite important to remember scientific law is uniform or constant fact of nature which is irrefutable theory and biology is short in laws because of elusive or changeable nature of life services to mankind facts to remember plants having foreign dna incorporated into their cells are called transgenic plants very important definition production of genetically identical copies of organisms or cells both by asexual reproduction is called cloning in biological control biological control mean controlling the diseases living organism are used to control other pathogenic organism to compete or eat instead of insecticides or pesticides for example aphid attack walnut trees and is controlled by a wasp which is parasite of aphid so if we increase the parasite that will e uh, kill the aphid and our walnut trees will become safe all relevant and appropriate methods of disease control used together used together is termed as integrated disease management and that mcq has already been asked in the past papers in hydroponic culture now it's another very important uh, mcq hydroponic culture plants are grown in aerated water to which nutrient mineral salts are added to check whether a particular nutrient is essential or not and that technique can be used by astronauts in space to grow vegetables that's quite important fact to remember now pasteurization by lewis pasteur it means pasteurization was discovered by lewis pasteur is used to preserve milk and milk products types of disease control include number one preventive measures aids stand for acquired immune deficiency syndrome and is caused by human immunodeficiency virus these abbreviations are important to remember aids spread through free sexual contact and this mcq has already been asked that the disease which spread through sexual contact is which hepatitis is caused by hepatitis virus and uh, those viruses may be a b c etc it's spread through blood transfusion mean hepatitis vaccination very important concept to remember and understand edward jenner discovered vaccination in uh, 1796 in cowpox pus 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 in urdu peep known as vecca that's why the term vaccination was originated and that's a latin term organism are vaccinated to make them immune against diseases like polio whooping cough measles mumps those uh, are parasites or those pathogens which cause such diseases are killed and those are inserted in the bodies of organisms so that the organismic bodies 
recognize them and create immunity against them and when real enemies attack they will be killed easily so that's the concept of vaccination smallpox is a disease which is completely eliminated from world using vaccines that is very important fact to learn the only disease smallpox which have been eradicated from the whole planet using vaccines now types of disease control third drug treatment gene therapy antibiotics are drugs which kill bacteria radiotherapy and chemotherapy are used to treat cancer important things to note short wave radiations are used to eliminate cancer cells this mcq has already been asked in chemotherapy anti cancer chemicals may kill both cancerous and normal cells and that is the reason chemotherapy is dangerous isolating a normal gene and inserting it into the host cell through bone marrow is called gene therapy very important definition cloning cloning is a technology for achieving eugenic aims mean population based aims clone is a cell or individual and it's asexually produced offsprings in 1997 first sheep was cloned in scotland that was dolly later mice and cows were cloned now remember that these three organisms are mentioned in the text that these are cloned mice cows and sheep cloning is done by removing nucleus of fertilized egg and inserting nucleus from other somatic cell and is then implanted in the womb to develop fully into a clone that's quite simple human cloning is controversial it is unethical still production and conservation of environment important facts to remember removal or degradation of environmental poll pollutants or toxic materials by living organism is called bioremediation you can also call it a biological remediation algae reduce pollution of heavy metals so it mean we can use algae in the uh, rivers or in the water bodies similarly on land to reduce heavy metals in the atmosphere exhaust from automobiles add lead in atmosphere that's very important thing to remember the species which are about to extinct are endangered species and uh, uh, extinct mean they are near to be finished completely from the planet fishes in pakistan are most adversely affected by water pollution that's all about the chapter number 1 fsc biology and uh, all these facts if remembered will ensure your attempt in the ppsc lecturer or subject specialist exam thanks for watching please pray for us and support allah hafiz